Hello, I'm Jonathan Bowman Perks and welcome back to my favourite time of the week. And I am delighted to have my mentor, uh, Alex Chisel. And Alex is um, uh, set up his own business. He's an entrepreneur by nature and his uh, podcast and the podcast he teaches people are all around entrepreneurship and he has a business called Screw It, Just Do It, and a great background with Virgin, which we're gonna hear about in the second half in the Inspired Leadership Extra part for the podcast. But Alex, welcome. Great, to, great to have you back and, we, and uh, to be on each other's podcast. Um, just tell us a bit now, in a, in a short moment, of what you're doing right now. Yeah, so, so right now I am helping leading brands and entrepreneurs um, essentially find their own voice um, by through the power of podcasting, by, by having their own podcast, through marketing, through the audio channels, um, to educate their existing customers and attract more like-minded um, listeners that will then go on to become paying customers for those brands and, right. and entrepreneurs. So that, that's my main focus and, and I you know teach um, other entrepreneurs to um, put their own podcast together themselves if they don't fit into that you know, Great. niche. And, and thinking about um, leadership, which is the topic of this series, Inspiring Leadership, who have you found you've worked for or with who were quite inspiring to you and have shaped the leader you are today? Yeah, well, I, I left, I, was, I, I literally went from university to um, the BBC, it was like a trainee news journalist, and uh, left there to see the world of Virgin Atlantic. Um, so it's probably no great stretch to say that Sir Richard Branson is probably the, the biggest influence and he essentially inspired me to eventually leave Virgin Atlantic and, and set up my own business because I just found I had this itch to scratch. Um, and I did just you, did you see him off. much? Or yeah, it, it's, it's funny when you, you know, again, you, you look back and hindsight is the wonderful thing it is. Um, but we used to see a lot of him um, back in like nineties, early noughties, um, literally be flying out on the aeroplane, um, staying over. Um, you know, I've had many a party from LA to South Africa with with Richard, um, and and it's only now that I look back and I think, I wish I'd asked him more. When I look back and think, he was actually younger than me, and he had an airline and a record company, but. You know, there I was partying in a room instead of doing, I don't know, yeah, vodka shots with um with with Richard Branson instead of actually asking him questions about how he built, yeah, you know, billion pound business. But how, how old is he now? Um, I he's I think he's either just turned seventy or is coming up to seventy. I'm sure it's like sixty nine or seventy. Um, and at the time I look back, I was like, you know, mid twenties, and you just think, well, I was just enjoying myself mm. and not thinking. Um, about starting a business in any way, shape, or form. So, yeah. hey, okay. that's good. So it's him. And who else? Yeah. Who else has inspired you? And what, um, what were their qualities? I, I, I would say, having chatted to you earlier for my podcast, and um, I would say my mother. Yeah. Funnily enough, because uh, she went from um, from separating with my father, um, and I was 10, 11 at that time, and her bringing up two boys on her own, um, moving them from England to Cardiff in yeah. Wales. Um, and I got pretty unruly, uh, you know, when you kind of, again, you look back and you trace behavior and you're like, well, kind of no surprise really. I lost that kind of father figure. Um, and I can remember that conversation with him that he said, I'm moving back to Canada because he was Canadian had moved from Canada to the UK. But I can specifically remember that yeah. moment. Um, and, you know, I thought she was uber strict, especially when I look how I am with my kids now. And you think, well, she actually needed to be. Um, but, you know, very disciplined, but yeah. very, you know, clear in what she wanted us to do. Um, How many brothers and sisters? So one brother, so two yeah. of us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I, I was the kind of. But what were mum's qualities? Ones. What were mum's qualities that you admire? Um, apart from being strict. Apart from being strict, um, the ability to be able to talk to absolutely anybody. Yeah. Whether that was the queen or some little old lady in the street that she she'd never met before, and to see her now, you know, and she never. Um, remarried never had another relationship um until 
about seven or eight years ago, fun, funnily enough, like when she was well into her, her 70s, you know, in her late 60s, early 70s. But she specifically did that, you know, for the, for the sake of bringing us up. And, and in hindsight, of course, you know, me and my brother are like, we wish you had. Um, but um, see her now to go into a room and just walk up to somebody. The art of networking, really, to walk up to somebody and literally go, hi, I'm Sandra. How are you? What do you do? That's brilliant. And you think so many people you go to events who like, you know, and I'm guilty as the next person just to stand and think, I don't know anybody here. What, what do I do? You know, yeah. people think I'm really confident, but if I don't know anybody, I'm a, I'm a different animal. Yeah. Um, so I, I think that's a great gift to have for, for any leader to be able to speak to absolutely anybody. Yeah, very good. And then thinking about from those two people who inspired you, we as leaders, we often make some pretty big howlers and blunders and mm. good leaders can learn from their mistakes and only the strong can be vulnerable. Yeah. Well, what about what about your mistake uh, or mistakes, habits that you had in the past that you've changed, which has shaped you as a leader? Um, I think not listening. Um, or, Sorry? <laughs> or, or just listening to my own voice uh, and not actually... Um, you know, thinking of specific examples of you know me trying to do absolutely everything. You know, here is the manifesto. Let you guys go and deliver it. And when things aren't working, just going, we'll do them twice as hard, twice as fast. But instead of actually asking their opinions on why this particular strategy wasn't working, why you thought it might not be working, what could you suggest that we might be able to do differently? Mm. Uh, and I've tried to. I've definitely taken that on board in in the in the in the current business with the, with a the media agency, the podcast agency, yeah. um, and literally, and I, and I think I've noticed that because people within my organisation are actually making suggestions without me asking for them. Yeah. So that to me is quite a clear sign that they feel comfortable. Yeah. To put ideas into into the space and and, yeah. and you know and they're suggesting how we can improve the business. So why shouldn't I? I'd be stupid not to listen. Yeah. Very much so. Um, and, and I always remember, this was a, a Richard Branson, he would, uh, when he was on board the aircraft, he would have, like, completely old school, said he, could, he couldn't even send an email. He had notepad and pen, and he would spend, like, a seven-hour flight to New York walking around the aircraft asking people questions on what he wow. thought they could improve in the airline. And I thought, he could just sit in upper class with his feet up for seven hours watching movies, catching up on his sleep, working on his businesses. But no, he decided, and yes, there's a- Talking to the passengers. Talking to the passengers, and not just passengers in upper class, to be down in economy, in premium economy, chatting to everybody. And I noticed, you know, that is one of the things I did notice at that age, him doing that. Because other people in the in the crew be going, what's he doing that for? He could be, you know, getting asleep in an upper class bed. And I thought, Part of it has got to be PR because he is the world's yeah. expert in PR. Yeah. Yeah. But he was listening. Yeah, no, he was listening. He, 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 I do admire him. He is one of the people I, I, I respect. Finally, um, what would be your short top tip to people to be better leaders? Um, top tip on how people can become better leaders. Um, I think it's passing on the lesson that I've just learned myself, really, um, to not be afraid to ask people mm. their opinion yeah and r completely related to that is to listen you know for me that seeing Richard Branson remembering back my you know one abiding memory is him you know asking questions and I think the better the questions you ask the better your answers are going to be brilliant Alex thank you it's a great pleasure thank having you having me on appreciate us and congratulations and good luck with all you do thank you